Hello, hello. Happy holidays and welcome to the first day of the holiday hoopla working title. <laughs> I am so excited for Christmas, for December, for all of the holidays that are coming up, and I am so excited for all of the videos that are going to be on this channel. For the entire month of December, I am going to be doing videos every single day, fingers crossed. Let's hope I can do it, because there are so many amazing holiday makeup kits. I love everything that has to do with the holidays. I love Christmas trees, I love Christmas lights, I love candlelight, I love caroling, I love Christmas movies, I love cookies, and everything that has to do with Christmas. But one of my favorite things in recent years has been the holiday makeup releases. This is the time of year when makeup companies of all sizes come out with their best, newest, most amazing makeup, and I love it all. So I have 24 videos planned featuring all different kinds of makeup, um, makeup collections, some makeup from last year that I may have hoarded and never used. <laughs> holiday releases as well as some like gift ideas, some tutorials. I have tons and tons of fun videos planned. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of the fun excitement that's going to be happening for the next 24 days from December 1st to Christmas Eve, December 24th, make sure you are subscribed to this channel and hit that notification bell so that you'll get a notification every single time that I upload. So for day one, I wanted to do a collection that just screamed Christmas. And I couldn't really think of a better collection than the Too Faced Holiday Collection this year. I have so many things from the Too Faced Holiday Collection. I have the Gingerbread Palette. I have the Smell of Christmas Lip Set. I have some Tutti Fruity things. I have the Small Eyeshadow Palettes. I have a ton of stuff from Too Faced and I think it's so I mean Too Faced, they always, always, always kill it with packaging and scents and it's so adorable. <laughs> and it really just screams Christmas. And I thought what a better way to kick off this entire holiday season than with the Too Faced Holiday Collection. So if you're interested in seeing my thoughts and trying out some of these products, then keep on watching. get started. So there is there are a ton of things from the Too Faced Holiday Collection this year. I have basically everything except the larger it looks it's a palette. It's like three palettes in one. It looks like a Christmas tree. I'll put a picture up here. I did not pick that one up. Um mostly because looking at like the colors inside, I don't know. They just didn't really speak to me. It just seemed kind of basic and neutral. And so I did not pick that up. Um, also just the idea, I know it was like marketed as like a, a shareable palette so that you could like break up the three different pieces and you know give some to one friend, another to one friend. But I just, the idea of like having three palettes that look like a really cute Christmas tree when they're in the box, but once you unbox it, I don't really know how easy they'd be to store. So I did not pick that up, but I did pick up the three other palettes that Too Faced released in this holiday collection. I have the Gingerbread Spice Palette. I also have the Tickled Peach Eyeshadow Palette, as well as the Sugar Cookie Palette. Um, so yeah, I picked up all of three of these. I actually ended up buying these things from the Too Faced collection from all over the place. I got some things from Macy's. I got some of the stuff from the Too Faced website. They're having a pretty good sale, I think like in October or something. Um, I got some stuff from Sephora as well as some Ultra, some things from Ulta. So I kind of have, like I said, a little bit of everything from all over the place. All right, so let's start with what I think is the real star of the show, which has to be the Gingerbread Spice palette. This palette is, I saw this like sneaked peek way back in September and I was like, this is adorable, I have to have this. Uh, so this palette comes with 18 shadows and it retails for 
$49. Uh, so there's really, there's a nice mixture of mattes to shimmers in this palette. Um, and they're all they're supposed to be very creamy, blendable, and smooth. Um, and I, I think that's very much the case. So we can kind of go through um, some, I have some swatches of every single one. So we'll start with powdered sugar, spiked eggnog, uh, gumdrop. That was the only one that didn't really swatch so well. It came across a little bit patchy, but when I started kind of trying to blend it on the eye, it worked out. Uh, then we have gingerbread, warm and toasty, and ooh, burn. Then we have frostbite me, <laughs> looky at my cookie, and spice is nice. Oh snap, break it till you make it, and spice of life. Sugar daddy, figgy pudding, hot toddy, reindeer paws, gingerbread latte, and spiced rum. Um, so kind of another one of the big selling points to this palette in particular is that it's supposed to be gingerbread scented. Um, when you smell it, it definitely has a scent, but I would not say it's gingerbread. Um, if you have tried any of their new like natural collection, I think it's like the natural eyes, natural, mattes, matte, natural shimmer, natural face. All of those have like a kind of vanilla scent to them. And this one has a scent that's actually very similar to that, although slightly, slightly richer, slightly more scenty. I don't know. <laughs> but it's definitely, it's not gingerbread, unfortunately, which is really disappointing. That was one of the things that I was most looking forward to with this palette is having it be gingerbread scented. But it's, it's not. It's more like a a slightly spicy vanilla scent in the palette, which is very pleasant and it's nice and maybe for people who don't like scents in their makeup, um, you shouldn't really be afraid of the scent in this palette because it is not overwhelming and it's not strong. So I am wearing this palette on my eyes today. I'll talk you kind of through how I did this look. Uh, so I started out after priming my eyes using my MAC paint pot, my, my MAC soft ochre paint pot. <laughs> And I went into, I think it was Looky in My Cookie, and kind of packed that all over the lid and then onto the brow bone to kind of start to get some color on the lid and blend out the transition. I next went into Gingerbread, of course. It's the gingerbread palette I had to use, the color Gingerbread, which actually is a lot warmer and more orange toned than I kind of originally expected. Um, in the pan, it looks like a very neutral kind of brown color. On my eye, when I started blending into the crease, it actually had a very warm, almost orange undertone to this color, but I ended up liking it. And so in order to kind of just amp up a little bit more of that warmth, I went in to Spice is Nice next on top of that and kind of also blended that into my crease. Uh, next, I went into the color Reindeer Paws to kind of start to darken up the outer corner of my eye um, first, and then I completely changed my mind once I started actually going into the shimmers and decided to do more of a halo on the eye. Um, so I went into the color Ooh Burn, which is this really, really pretty purple shimmer that actually has some like flakes of like glitter in it. Um, it's really interesting, and I actually noticed that the flakes of glitter tend to stay in the eyeshadow if you're using a sticky, tacky base. Maybe, you know, like a P. Louise kind of eyeshadow base, or I used the Too Faced Glitter Glue. Otherwise, you could kind of blend it out, and the actual, like, little tiny pieces of glitter that's in the shade, you don't see them. Um, and then after that, I decided I wanted to do more of, like, kind of a spotlight effect, because it was kind of was just all looking very dark and not a lot of definition to the look. So I went into the color Spiced Eggnog and put that just right in the very center of my lid to really brighten everything up. Uh, I next went into the color Figgy Pudding since I had completely changed my mind about what kind of eye look I was actually going to do. Um, I went into Figgy Pudding and I put that on both the outer and inner corner really amping up the halo effect for the eye. Um, after that, I just kind of blended everything together with a little more gingerbread, looky at my cookie, sugar daddy. Um, I used powdered sugar. It's a very nice matte cream color shade. Um, and I really like using shades like this to kind of just clean up any eye look that you may have going on, just clean up the edges, making sure everything is well blended. Then I went into Frostbite Me. Uh, for my inner corner highlight and this shade I was not particularly impressed with. It's very flaky. Uh, it's swatched a little bit dry, but I thought it'll still work 
for the shimmer and it doesn't really work. I think you need to use this shade, Frostbite Me, in particular, probably with your finger, and I think it still works best if you blend it in with your finger, rather than um, trying to pack it on with your finger or pack it on with like a brush. Um, it really feels a lot more like a top coat kind of color as opposed to some of these others. Like eggnog is really, really great. I mean, this warm and toasty, Oh, it's such a beautiful gold shimmer. So this one has a very different formula than the other shimmers in the palette. So it was a little more tricky to work with and I didn't love how it was looking on my inner corner. So then I went into Spiced Eggnog just to kind of amp up the shine um, and also put that under my brow bone. Uh, after I went ahead and finished up the rest of my makeup, I came back and started blending out my lower lash line using the shade Gumdrop. So I took this on a very, very small blending brush. I used the Morphe M514, which is very small and very pointed, and took this color and I just really placed it on my lower lash line, just packing it there and blending it ever so slightly. Um, I next went in with the color Looky at My Cookie and probably a little bit of Sugar Daddy just to blend out everything and make sure that it was well-defined. Of course, more is always more and uh, I wasn't done, and so I wanted to play with a little more shimmer, so I went into the color Bake It Till You Make It <laughs> on a flat brush and kind of put that on the inner third of my lower lash line. It didn't show up in that use as well as I would have wanted it to. Um, it swatched really, really well, and I definitely want to do an eye look using a color similar to, similar to this. Um, probably all over the lid would be gorgeous. It just didn't really add a whole lot to my lower lash line. So it was fine. Um, and then again, went back into spiced eggnog and just up the ante a little bit with my inner corner highlight. So that's how I got this look. Um, I just, I topped it off using a little bit of my Benefit Roller Lash as well as this so itty bitty tiny, 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 better than sex waterproof mascara. This I actually got as one of like my little free gifts when I ordered the I ordered the gingerbread spice palette as well as the sugar cookie palette from Macy's because they were having like a 15% off sale on all of their beauty items and it was already sold out on the Too Faced website. So I went ahead and ordered from Macy's and then they gave you a bunch of like little mini gift sets. They gave you like a whole gift box, which I have all the stuff in it, but they gave you like this Too Faced gift box. So I guess if you wanted to like, give it as a gift to someone for Christmas, you have a box that was like really cute. So I did use the little mini Better Than Sex mascara. Um, I don't love, this is smaller than like the trial size or travel size of the Better Than Sex because it has basically the full Better Than Sex brush, the full size, has the full size brush, but like the tiniest little handle you ever seen. Like, look at that. It's so small and it's kind of hard to hold because it is so tiny and the brush is so large. So that's how I got this look for today. Um, I would definitely recommend this palette. The mattes blend very, very easily. I find that they blend easier in this palette, kind of along the lines of some of the newer matte palettes, like the Just Peachy Matte, which is one of my favorites. Um, the new natural, like the repackaged natural formula. So it, it works very well. Um, everything blends and is very, very creamy. And um, yeah, I love it. And I just, just looking at the colors, I just was like, there are so many different ways that I could take this look. Like this, this palette really inspires me. Um, not necessarily at first glance, when I first looked at it, I was like, oh yeah, I really like these kind of creamy ones. The purples look nice, you know, looks like some nice shimmers, a pretty gold. Um, but I was kind of like, oh, okay. But then once I swatched it, I was like, okay, I need to do a look with this Spice of Life color, like this green and this gold. Um, I want to use Hot Toddy. I want to use um, Oh Snap and like Break It Till You Make It. Like there's so many different colors that I just really, really want to use. Oh. <laughs> Now I remember what I wanted to say. Speaking of the shade Hot Toddy, uh, one of the things that I've heard about this palette is people claiming that this shade is very, very, very similar to the shade in the Laura Lee Los Angeles Nudie Patootie palette called Jaybird. Um, so I thought I would do kind of a swatch comparison of those guys, because I do, I pulled out 
from storage my nudie patootie palette. Oh, I hope it's not broken. I dropped this palette. Oh good, it's okay. I dropped this palette and um, the gold shade in here completely shattered. So I'm gonna be very careful. So I'm gonna swatch this color Jaybird. So you can see how this one has that shift um, to gold to red. It's very much duochrome -y. There, you can see the gold, and then it shifts to red. Um, so let me swatch Hot Toddy right next to it, which also has kind of that same gold to red duochrome switch. Let's see here. Can you, yeah, you can kind of see it there. Mm, not so much can't really see it so much in the swatches. Um, I could see it really well on my fingers. So here you can kind of see this is Jaybird and this is Hot Toddy. So Hot Toddy is coming off definitely with a lot more of a red tone to it initially. Um, and they both do have that very duochrome shift. So it's a very unique color and they are extremely, extremely, extremely similar. Hot Toddy, this guy here, is a lot more red initially, but they do have that same duochrome shift. Um, the only thing is that Jaybird feels a lot more crumbly when you're actually working with it um, and swatching it. And you definitely need to use a glitter glue with it. And then like I said, with the gold shade in that palette, I dropped the palette and it shattered. So I think it'll actually be a lot easier for you to work with Hot Toddy, um, but this is a very similar shade. It's a very, very similar shade. It has the same kind of effect. Um, and I feel like this palette would be a lot more, um, you know, brown girl friendly. Uh, I've used Nudie Patootie. The shades are not particularly super flattering, all of them. I, I really just like the palette for Jaybird and the other gold shade the, um, that's in it. It's not super flattering on people of my skin tone and I can imagine darker skin tones like it, it it still it takes a lot of time to build up any color and a lot of those shades this one on the other hand I didn't find that at all all of these shades even a lot of these like very creamy shades were immediately pigmented and showed up and worked well on my skin tone so this palette if you're looking for a shade that's very similar to Jaybird but we're kind of worried that it wouldn't be necessarily brown girl friendly this palette I think would be a great alternative so that's my two cents worth about this. Definitely worth worth the money. I am so happy to have this palette and um, I know I'll be reaching for this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I also picked up the two mini small palettes that Too Faced has in this holiday collection. We have the Sugared Peach eyeshadow palette as well as the Sugar Cookie eyeshadow palette. So both of these palettes retail for $26 each. Um, you can buy them on the Sephora, you can buy both of them on the Sephora website. You can get the Sugar Cookie palette on the Ulta website as well as Macy's. Uh, the Sugar Peach palette, however, is a Sephora and Too Faced.com exclusive palette. Um, although it's not part of like the Sugar peaches and cream collections. I'm a little bit confused why this one is Sephora exclusive, but it is. Uh, so both of these palettes are little eight pan eyeshadow palettes, which I think are really, really cute. They have the same metal packaging as the uh, gingerbread spice palette, as well as the other Too Faced, um, you know, larger palettes like the chocolate palette, the chocolate gold, the peach palette, whatever the original peach palette was called. Um, so they're very, very cute. The peach one is smells like sweet peaches and I would agree with that <laughs> it's not as strong peachy scent as the just peachy mattes palettes that they recently came out with but it has a very strong sweet kind of fruity scent to it which I like and then the sugar cookie palette which is the one that I was like really really interested in because it just seemed a little more different I supposed to smell like sugar cookies which I don't know if it smells yeah it smells like sugar cookies because it just smells very sweet and vanilla-y now this palette is the one that actually smells the most similar to the gingerbread palette 
yeah, these two smell, these two palettes smell like exactly the same, which is interesting because sugar cookies don't actually smell anything like gingerbread in real life. But anyways, so both of these palettes, like I said, are $26. You get eight shadows, which is a little bit up there in price, but I think these are so, so good, both of them. So let's go through some swatches. Uh, in the sugar cookie palette, we have the color Nom Nom, Milk and Cookies, Half Baked and Tough Cookie. And then we have Butter and Love, Fresh from the Oven, Cookie Pusher, and Burnt to a Crisp. Next in the Tickled Peach palette, we have the colors Peach Bum, Peachy Swear, Warm and Fuzzy, Love Pit, Parisian Peach, Peach Spice, Tickled, and Plum Fun. Uh, so yeah, I like I like both of these palettes because I think that even though there's only eight shadows in each of them, you can actually do a variety of different looks using both of these palettes, which I, is something that I always look for. And I think I would actually feel very comfortable traveling with one or the other of these palettes and feeling like I'd be able to get a full look that um, was very wearable but also could kind of be dramatic. This one, which is Parisian Peach, in the Sweet Peach palette is one of my favorites. It looks very pink in the pan, but when you actually swatch it, it is very, very golden. I think both of these palettes are very, very nice. I actually used both of them together, kind of mixing and matching to create a look that I did yesterday. I used a mixture of all of the mattes from the two palettes. Um, and then the real, I think, star of the show was this kind of red color, half-baked from the, the sugar cookie palette. I also use that really, really, really pretty kind of gold color Parisian peach from the peach palette. So I really liked it. I had a, it was very easy to work with all of the colors. I think the overall look that I did yesterday came out very nicely. So I know I'll be getting, again, a lot of use for these. The next thing I have, and I'm gonna use um, mostly just because I just feel like I'm, I'm missing a little something. I didn't put on blush or highlight today. <laughs> So I'm going to start with blush and this is not specifically from the holiday collection, but it is a more recent release from Too Faced. So I thought I might as well just go ahead and give it a quick try. So this is the Sugar to Peach Wet and Dry Face Palette. Um, face and eyes. I believe you can use this as eyes. And so I'm not going to do a ton of talking about it, but I just really feel like I need a little, I need blush on my face. I look super washed out. So. Um, in here you have basically two highlighter shades as well as two blush shades. So I'm going to go into this top one called Sugared Peach and it's kind of a, a peach colored blush obviously and um, try putting this on. Oh that goes on very nicely. It has sparkles in it for sure. <laughs> but Ooh, it's very dusty too, so. That's the Sugared Peach. I'm wearing the color Spice Peach. I think it looks really nice. So, another possible giftable option. Now that I have blush on and I feel like I have like a little more color to my face, let's go on to the next item. And this is something I'm so excited about. I saw this like sneak peek on Trin Mood forever ago and I think it was only a first available in Australia and I was just like, well, I want it. I want it, I want it, I want it so much and I kind of was like constantly looking to see if I'd be able to get it here. So this is the Peach Tencel Gift Set. It retails for $39 and you can get it on, it's still available on the Sephora website and I've actually seen it in the Sephora shops. So in this gift set, you basically get a powder puff, you get one of their moisture matte long wear lipsticks from the Peach Collection in an existing shade, and then you get the Peach Tencel Loose Highlighter. So excited. So let's crack into this guy. So you're getting 12 grams of highlighter in this thing. This is the same size container as they have in their setting powder. Um, I can't, I can't. Like, look, there's so much. So I think what they're kind of intending is that you can use this on the face and you can also use this on the body by using the powder puff, like kind of puffing this on here and then just being glittery everywhere because who doesn't want to be glittery? And I just, I can't even. I can't not even. So I swatched it and it is a very pretty pink. It has, you open it up and it has like a little sifter in the top that you open up and then you can get a little bit of the product 
kind of up in just this like top part. Let me grab a highlighting brush. This is the Luxie Tapered Highlight. And so I'm just gonna kind of dab it in here and see how it is on the face. Oh, oh. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, that's very nice. It's a lot more subtle than I kind of thought it would be from swatching it. I'm a little bit surprised. I'm actually gonna put some in the lid because it's a little hard to work. It doesn't come out of the sifter very much, which is actually kind of nice. Like you don't want a ton of highlighter just going everywhere. I'm kind of impressed with that. I'm gonna put some down my, the edge of my nose. On the cubits bow. Why not put some on my chin? I never highlight my chin, but why not? It's Christmas. <laughs> So that's really, really pretty. The shade that is in the set, the lipstick is called Sunday Fun Day. It's one of their matte, their moisture matte, I think they call it, liquid lipsticks. It smells like peaches. It smells really good. I actually have this shade already that I have been using before in the, uh, the original packaging. <laughs> um, I think, do you notice how all of these went on sale and then they came out with new ones that don't have it? They like switched up the packaging. It's because I think, I'm pretty sure Pat McGrath was suing them um, for copying her packaging. Don't quote me on it, but I think so. So I also have, I already have this one and I've used this one a number of times and I really, really like this color. It's a very nice neutral color. And I think the lipstick actually wears very well. Um, I've been getting into more, I've been get, getting into wearing more traditional bullet lipsticks as opposed to liquid lipsticks recently, and I just find them to be a lot more comfortable. Again, it's not gonna be as long wearing as a super matte liquid lipstick, but I think the lasting power on it is fantastic, and the color is to die for, and this highlighter. I mean, come on. It's a lot more subtle, like I said, than I was anticipating. I thought it was gonna be very blingy, but I think it's really nice, and I can see how this would look beautiful all over the body with this powder puff. So, especially for $39 for this set, and you get 12 grams of highlighter as well as a full-size lipstick, I think it's a fantastic deal. So this would be a set that I would definitely pick up. So speaking of gift sets, let's move into the next little gift set that I picked up from Too Faced. This is the Tutti Fruity Christmas Fruit Cake gift set. So the Tutti Fruity collection is exclusive to Ulta. So this gift set is also exclusive to Ulta. So in this gift set, it is $30. In the box, you get a little makeup bag that has this little like Tutti Fruity fruit cake. It says Tutti Fruity and Too Faced on the back. And then inside here, you get full sized. Um, this is the Juicy Fruits Comfort Lip Gloss. And this is in the color Fruitcake, which I believe is a color that is exclusive to this gift set. And then you also get a like little Deluxe Pineapple Paradise um, Bronzer Duo. So it has a bronzer and a highlighter in this, as well as a deluxe fresh squeezed highlighting drops in the sparkling pina colada color, which is like a gold color. Um, so all of these are really, really cute. Um, again, this one is full size. I haven't tried this on yet. Let me, uh, let's give it a whirl and uh, try, try this guy out. I've not tried their lip glosses yet, but I think this color will go well. Oh. That's a lot more metallic than I thought it would be. Hmm. Okay, that worked well. Um, and then let's see. So this is, the thing that struck me about this gift set when I opened it, it was just like how tiny their little like deluxe size samples are. Like these are just like the tiniest, tiniest little things. Um, just kind of for reference, I don't have any of the little glitter drops, but I do have the full size um, of some of the other blushes and highlighters that came in this collection. I don't have the pineapple bronzer, but I do have the other blushes. So this is one of the other blush duos. This is in the cherry color. But just like in comparison, look how small this is. Oh, 
it's so tiny. Um, the also the only kind of thing is that this packaging feels a little bit cheap because this is just cardboard. Basically, it's just a cardboard package. There's no mirror, um, and the pan size is so tiny. Like even if you just compare, compare the pan size of these guys, you can see how much tinier this guy is as opposed to the full size. Um, I mean, obviously you are getting thirty dollars. You're getting a full size lip gloss. You're getting the dew drops as well as like the little mini highlighter, which the lip gloss itself is $20 each and this is a full size. So to kind of like weigh out what you're actually getting for $30, like basically both of these are like $10, you know, $5 each plus you get like the little bag. So it is a very cute little gift set. Um, I just was struck by how incredibly tiny these are. It's so adorable. It's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> So this year, they brought back the highly requested Gingerbread Man Liquid Lipstick, which was, uh, I think it was released last year at their holiday collection. Um, but they also brought out his companion and they had the Gingerbread Girl Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick. Um, so this is the Gingerbread Girl Liquid Lipstick. I ended up just picking up Gingerbread Girl. I went to the store and I actually swatched both Gingerbread Man and Gingerbread Girl. And they both actually smell like gingerbread. Sort of. They're still more vanilla than gingery, but that's okay. They smell more, more like gingerbread than the actual palette. Um, this lipstick, I think, will go very well with a lot of the looks from this palette, especially some of the more orangey guns, because this is kind of a very, it's kind of an orange undertone for this guy, but I do really like it. But this one's kind of a more brown orange as opposed to Gingerbread Man, which was like very, very orange, um, which I didn't really care for so much. But I picked up Gingerbread Girl and I do really like this color and I like the melted matte liquid lipstick formula. It's very comfortable to wear, especially for an actual like liquid matte lipstick. Um, and it works well with glosses over the top of it. Um, yeah, this is kind of like a standard go-to formula and I do really like the Too Faced formula. I kind of just always forget about it. I don't know, I just always forget about that I like these melted matte li liquid lipsticks. And then the next thing which, So the last thing that I ended up picking up was the Sweet Smell of Christmas Liquid Lipstick Set. So you get four mini size liquid lipsticks. These are all exclusive scents to this set. Um, and this is $25 for all four of these, which $25 for four mini liquid lipsticks is actually a pretty good deal uh, compared to, oh, the Gingerbread Woman, I didn't say this, Gingerbread Girl is $21, the standard price for a Too Faced liquid lipstick. So this one is $21 and all four of these guys are $25. Each one of these little mini liquid lipsticks is three ounces each. And so that makes it a total of 12 ounces for the entire container. A full size liquid lipstick is seven ounces. So you're actually getting four more ounces in this set for four more dollars. So it's basically like a dollar an ounce more and you're getting four different colors than you are with like the full size liquid lipstick. So let's go through each of these sets. These, one of the things that I love about this little gift set is that each of the colors actually have a different scent to them. Um, so the first one, we have is pumpkin spice and so this one is more of a neutral but with a little bit of a orange undertone it's kind of like orangey neutral brown shade it smells more spicy than the gingerbread palette that's supposed to be gingerbread spiced but this one smells very spicy it smells like the dairy queen pumpkin blizzard or a pumpkin pie latte <laughs> and then next we have sugar cookie which this is a, a very light kind of cool tone nude. This one I would definitely have to pair with a lip liner if I wanted to actually wear it just on its own, but I think it could I could make it work. And this one smells very much like the sugar cookie palette as well as the gingerbread spiced palette. All right, so Cinnamon Bear is a very holiday red color. It's, I think, a more of a blue-based red, but it's very bright and vibrant, and I quite like that one. Finally, we have Hot Buttered Rum, which smells like a butterscotch candy. Um, and this is a more warm, neutral shade. And this is the color I'm actually wearing on my lips right now. 
uh, yeah, so that is everything from the Too Faced Holiday Collection. Uh, I really am, was impressed, and like I said, this was the palette, or this was the collection that got me the most excited and got me in the holiday spirit all the way back in September when it launched. It was the end of September, I was sitting there, 90 degree weather in LA, and I saw this gingerbread palette and I was like, it's Christmas. Can it be, be Christmas time already? I just love it. So I think this collection this year was really, really nice. I liked the theming of all of the, the holiday scents and all of the holiday, you know, just it just seemed decadent and sweet and I just liked, I like that. I like the scented things and I like holidays and I like cookies, so. Honestly, what is there not to like in this collection? Let me know if you've picked up anything from the Too Faced Holiday Collection, what you think about it. Are there, is there, or is there anything here that you think you might wanna pick up? Um, I think definitely the standouts would be the Smell of Christmas lip set. Um, all of the palettes actually were very nice. I really, really liked all of them, especially the peach one and the gingerbread palette. And finally the, I don't know, I lost it. The tinsel peach. I lost the inside of the box. <laughs> the tinsel peach, I think, was a really great value for what you're getting um, as a gift set for the holidays. So those were kind of my favorite things. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next video. Happy holidays. Bye.